In this morning's Health Watch, alopecia. It's a rare disorder that causes people to lose their hair. Now, you think that would be a big problem for a beauty pageant contestant. Not so for Kayla Martell. On Saturday, June 12th, she was crowned Miss, crowned rather, Miss Delaware. Her inspiration, five-year-old Lily Hakim, who also has alopecia, and they both join us exclusively this morning. Great to have both of you ladies with us. Thank you so much for having us. Kayla, this is something that you had dreamed about from the time you were a little girl, but you almost gave up on your dream. Why? You know, sometimes you're just not quite sure if you're the right person for the job. But I realized that because of people and girls like Liliana, I knew that I had to be on the Miss America stage and I had to get there at some point. So this was the fifth time that you yes. had competed <laughs> to be Miss Delaware. Three of those times, as we mentioned, you lost your hair, so you're actually bald. You're wearing a wig now. Three of those times you competed uh, without a wig. Yes, I did. And I competed with the wig twice now, and I won the wig or one with the wig rather but um, you know when I competed without the wig it was great because I was really representing who I am and that's what and that's what uh, Lily really had asked you to do because Lily you did, it was thanks to you that she's now Miss Delaware I think right you got her to go back to uh, to the pageant yes right what did you say to her Lily do you remember what you said to me when I told you I didn't know if I wanted to come back to Miss Delaware did you really want her to try again yeah do you remember you told me that I was your Miss America and then I had to keep trying, right? Yes. And it looks like it paid off. I'd say you were a pretty good inspiration. You must be very persuasive to get her to come back <laughs> up on that stage there. And Lily, you actually played a really special role in the pageant, right? She did. She's what your did little you do? sister. What did you do at Miss Delaware? Did you walk on the stage with me in evening gown? Yeah. Yes, she did. She and her sister both escorted me in my evening gown. And we have a, we have a picture of, uh, of the girls there with you. This has got to be for you because you started losing your hair when you were 10? Yes, I did. So what, what was that like for you growing up, especially as you're hitting that stage in your adolescence? You know, it wasn't so bad. Every person's case is very different. But for me, I was just very confident in myself because of the great family and friends that I have. And, um, you know, I think I was a better person because of the faith that I had. It didn't really make me nervous to go out without the wig for mm -hmm. any reason. And I know that you actually, you do appear sometimes in public without it. Yes. Um, and, and you're okay with taking it off here on TV? Yes, yeah. I can take it off right now if you'd like. Should I take it off, Lily? Yeah. So when you take it off, what's the reaction that you get versus when you have the wig on? Well, I think I uh, can be a better Miss Delaware and a better Miss America by taking the wig off because it shows people the initial uh, reaction that I am healthy and I'm fine and all we do is we lose our hair, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're very healthy. And so people are sometimes stunned that I'm comfortable taking it off, but you know, this is, this is who I am. Do you think that there was any, uh, because you did wear, wear at the time that you won, do you think that had anything to do with your winning this time around? Not at all. I would hope that the judges picked me because they knew that I could fulfill the duties of the job of Miss Delaware. Now, Lily, I know that uh, your mom is really involved uh, with the National Foundation, which is kind of how you two came together. You just yes. came back from camp, too, where a lot of ki a camp with all kids who have alopecia. Were they really excited about, about Kayla becoming Miss Delaware? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what did they do when I brought my crown? Do you remember? To kids camp at, at the uh, alopecia conference? They all wanted to try the crown on, right? Yes, we took lots of pictures. I have a feeling you've tried that crown on, Lily, right? It lo probably looks pretty good on you, I bet. Yes, do it you does. Think, do you think you'd like to try to be like Kayla one day and, and maybe be a Miss Delaware and Miss America? <laughs> yeah. You want to be Miss America? Yes. <laughs> Moving forward, obviously, I know you want to raise awareness, but, but anything else that people should know, especially for families out there who are also dealing with this? The biggest thing is just to find other people out there who have alopecia. You know, if you find somebody who can be supportive of you and you can learn from, that's the greatest thing, and to develop relationships. And that's why I'm so happy and so thankful that Lily and I can be close so that she can grow up and know exactly what I went through when I was first diagnosed. And you're both really inspiring one another. Good to have both of you with us this morning. Lily, thanks for giving Kayla that extra push she needed. Kayla Martell, Liliana Hakeem, thank you both for being here this morning. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.